Hey guys, it's Nana, and today I wanted to do a Stitch and Bitch video. Well, I've heard the term Stitch and Bitch before, but I first saw a video of it on Books and Quills, and I love the idea, you know, you're just knitting and chatting, which is something I like to do anyway, so I really wanted to do my own video on it, but at the time I was not working on anything, so can't really Stitch and Bitch if you're not stitching. But now I am working on something. I'm making a little ribbed hat for charity. There's a group of crafters at my work and they're having everyone make hats and scarves and they're going to donate them to two local women's shelters. So I had some spare yarn I wasn't using and I'm not working on anything else at the moment so I thought I would make a little hat. Um, so in case you've never seen one of these videos before, I'm basically just going to knit and chat with you about life stuff while I do so. So let's do it. Let's see how well I can do this on camera. So a few things. Halloween is coming up and I don't know what I'm doing. The last couple of years, I, my roommate and I have thrown a Halloween party and kind of was like a lot of planning and you know I had themed snacks and we decorated and I had lots of people over. Um, but we're not doing a party this year. I kind of, I think we were just kind of a bit exhausted the last couple of years. So I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm not even sure if I'm dressing up, which is kind of crazy. But I don't know. This might be an off year for me. I might just take Halloween off and not do anything. Ah, I know, crazy. Um, but I don't have anything planned at the moment. But we'll see. Things can change in a week. So. Then next up, soon after Halloween, which I'm something I'm much more excited for, it will be my birthday soon, November 10th. I'm gonna be turning 25. Crazy! Um, yeah, that's crazy to me, but um, I love birthdays. I love celebrating birthdays, and I get excited about my birthday. So yeah, I'm excited that it's coming up. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I'm still trying to figure it out, but something small, low-key with my friends is really all that I want. Um, yeah, I can't wait. I really like birthdays. And then I was also looking at my ticket. I really need to buy a ticket for Christmas because I'm planning to go home for the first time this year, which I'm super duper excited about. Um, I basically now go home to California about once a year, so, and I spend about anywhere from two weeks to ten days there, you know, I make it a long trip since I don't go home that often. So I really need to buy my Christmas tickets home. I absolutely love Christmas. Christmas is definitely my favorite holiday, and I get kind of crazy about it, like in a, hopefully in a good way. I maybe in an annoying way if you don't love Christmas but it's funny because I love 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 Christmas and my roommate doesn't but he will put up with me for a period while I like sing Christmas songs and decorate and he even bought me a Christmas tree one year which was really sweet considering especially considering that he's not a huge Christmas fan so I love Christmas I love spending Christmas with my family and I cannot wait Another thing I was thinking about and getting excited about is when I go home, I, it'll be the first time I've been home since I've been doing booktube, and I'm thinking, here are some video opportunities. You know, all the childhood books that I still have are at home, so it'll be a good opportunity to sort of go through my shelves, and I'm hoping to do a couple of videos while I'm home and, and tie in books that I've had since I was a kid, so that will be fun. Oh, speaking of Christmas, the other day um, Virago Books tweeted about a Christmas anthology they had called Miss, or not Miss, called Aunt Sass, and they were doing a giveaway and I won one of the copies, so that's so exciting. It's by P.L. Trappers. I, you know, tweeted them back not thinking that I'd win, but I was one of the winners, so they're gonna send me a copy of the book and I'm going to get to read and review it. I'm excited to have a Christmas read to look forward to. Um, I don't, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do on my channel around Christmas. I might do like a themed week. I think that's everything I wanted to catch you up on. So I'm just going to finish up that little stitch. I went around a couple times. I'm gonna work on this. I, the problem is I have it like over tucked away in a corner so if I don't pick it up, if I don't see it, I won't remember that I need to pick it up and work on it. 
but I have until the end of November, so I've got some time. I hope you enjoyed this little stitch and bitch. If anyone else is a knitter or a crocheter and you want to do this sort of video, please do. Or just tell me about that in the comments below. And if you've got any little life updates you want to share, please do. I'd love to hear them. If you want to see more videos in this vein, let me know. I'd love to know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to talk to me elsewhere, I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads. I'll leave my links down below. And if you want to subscribe and or give this video a thumbs up, I would love that. And yeah, thanks for hanging with me. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.